Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Juan Lane and we're going to talk today about what do you believe. For scripture reference, I'm going to come from 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15 and I'm going to read verses 1 through 11. That's the first book of Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 11. Now, before we start, let us pray. Our Father, we are so thankful to come to you today. As humble as we know how, with our heads bowed and our eyes closed, just saying thank you, Lord God. You've been good to us, Lord God. You've brought us from a mighty long way, and we're thankful, Lord God. We know and we understand that you did not bring us thus far to leave us now. So again, God, we're thankful. We ask, Lord God, that this word touch our minds, our bodies, our hearts, and souls, that it could be used to uplift your kingdom from this day to the rest of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And by this text for today reads, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, and that He was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that He was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles, and last of all he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles, that I am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God I am what I am, and grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, and so ye believe. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Once again, I want to come from today from the topic and the subtext and the text of uh, we want to look at it and ask ourselves, what do we believe? That's very important. That's more important than what we may think it is as, at, at this very moment. Because my question is, are you confused about what you believe? I mean, there are so many different religions and denominations out there that we could simply just get confused and lose track of what we truly believe. And, and sometimes our beliefs can get so, that we'll just end up giving up on God altogether. That's why it's so important to determine this very moment what we believe. And once we determine that, we have to stick with it. We can't just leave it today and tomorrow night. So today we're going to talk about religion and what the most important thing about religion is. Of course, religion is only... Uh, uh, rules and regulations, and but the most important thing is having a relationship with Christ. But what we want to talk about today is don't separate. Everybody say that. Say don't separate. Don't, don't separate. separate. That is so important that we stay together as a as a religious body, as the body of Christ. Now, let me tell you what Jesus thinks about us separating. In the book of Matthew, <clears throat> chapter thirteen and twenty eight. Jesus said, He said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while we gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Jesus said, Let both grow together unto the harvest. And in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye first the tares, and bind them in bundles, to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. In other words, God will do the separating. 
we should just let it stay together. We shouldn't say, hey, this person belongs in my church. That person belongs in, that person should be this. This person shouldn't be that. Don't spend our time separating what God has brought together. Uh, one of the, uh, in, in the marriage vows is let no man, what, what God has put together, let no man put aside. And that's the same thing. God is married to each and every one of us who has made ourselves available to him, who, have, who calls him our father. He is the bridegroom. So that's we need to stay together. Amen? Amen? Now, in this scripture, we see what I just spoke about in Matthew. We see Jesus telling he actually used wheat and the wheat. See, people think that if you ever, if you're familiar with wheat, then you know that really from a distance, if you look at wheat and weed, you could actually end up pulling up some weed, thinking you could actually pull up some wheat, following thinking it was weed, especially when it first starts out. You can't. It's not really easy to distinguish the difference. It's not really easy. You you know sometimes you can see somebody in the church struggling with an issue. And they're really just getting started. Who knows? We can all think back on where, where God brought us from to get us where we are. What type of stuff we were into. What type of stuff God is yet dealing with us on even now. And we should be able to say, you know, I'll have mercy on this person. I believe that God can do it for them just because of what he's done for me. Amen? So the key right now is to stay together because God wants to see all of us grow. Now this should this should actually this should actually be a comfort to some of us. This should because I, some of us are so concerned with with what we should do. Should we? What church should I go to today? You know, don't, that 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 person does this at that church. That person does this. At, so we, that has actually caused us stress, undue stress. And I I'm here today to comfort you. And don't worry. Jesus is going to separate. Don't worry. God knows. He has the whole thing under control. I'm even speaking on marriages now. I'm speaking on your relationships. Don't, don't break it up. Hold it together. Take the good with the bad. Take the sweet and the sour. Let it all go. And God will separate. Because once again, I got to go back to what I actually say. What do you believe? If you truly believe that God can do anything, if you truly believe that 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 some believe some may believe that that God ran out of huge miracles when He opened the Red Sea, but He has He's the same God. He I always say He has not lost any power. He has not gained any power. He's the same God. The difference 